guys, so we just finished up our beautiful lunch over here at the taco bar. We closed them down. We had a couple of their cocktails. They were fabulous. And now we're back on the boat, and we wanted to show you a tradition in the Caribbean, especially down island. A lot of times when you go out to a restaurant or you go to someone's home, everybody has their own rum infusion that they make and they're proud of. It's their own recipe. And after you have a beautiful dinner, the rum infusion comes out. You can pour yourself a shooter. It's actually a sipper. You just kind of sit there and enjoy it. So we have our own here aboard La Rev, and we wanted to make that for you today. So yesterday I started it to get everything infused and really steeped properly, but I want to tell you what I did. I took two cups of water, and to that I added one cup of brown sugar and two cups of white sugar, okay? I added about six tablespoons of fresh ginger root. I peeled it, I cut it up. It's kind of like when you make a tea, right? Because you're boiling this water and you're letting it steep. I also added two teaspoons of cardamom pods and about 12 whole cloves, okay? So I just let that sit there overnight and we have it right here. So that's one of the components to our infused rum that we're going to do aboard. So our particular recipe is one bottle of rum and we use a higher proof rum than your regular dark rum. This is, it's not 151, but this is like 137 proof. So it's a little bit stronger because we're gonna be adding back in this um, simple syrup. So we don't wanna dilute it too much. So we like high octane rum. So to this, we're going to add this whole bottle and then we're going to add um, about two thirds. This will be about two thirds of the mixture. We're going to add our infusion, which is about one third of the mixture. And then we're going to zest this beautiful orange and let it sit. Once we do this, it needs to sit honestly for about a month. So it takes a while, but once that happens, everything infuses and it becomes beautiful. We have some that we've already made that we're actually going to sample once we get our sample our, our situation together here and uh, so we'll toast each other with the, the infusion that we've already made but we want to show you guys the process so we're ready to go ahead and pour in pour in our rum and then i'll start zesting this orange while dirk is pouring that in and then uh, dirk will empty that bottle and then go ahead and add in one third of the infusion that i made last night and he's going to strain that because we have a lot of those aromatics in there and we don't want those whole trunks. But what we do want, and sometimes it's messy, you know, we live on a boat, we get hit by a wave, you know what, stuff happens. And so what we do want to go ahead and keep in there is this beautiful fresh orange rind. And so I'm going to go ahead and add that in. I'll do a little bit more. And this we will just take and we will decant in some, into some old rum bottles and guess what, we have a few on board. You know, we live in the Caribbean. And so we'll just let that sit there for about a month, a couple of weeks. We'll check it in a couple of weeks, see how it's doing. You know, you can't, can't leave it sitting alone on its own too long. So uh, we'll do that. But right now we're going to go ahead and taste some that we had, uh, that we've already made. And we're going to have a little taste of that right now. And there he is. Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to cork that one and we're just going to have a little cheers. We're going to cheer to the finale of season two. We had a blast. We had a great shoot. Our camera crew's fantastic. Dirk's been fantastic. We've done a lot of great cooking aboard and we can't wait to see you guys on season three. So cheers to season cheers. two and cheers to Yacht La Rev. Hope to see you guys out there. Come visit us in the Caribbean. <laughs>